I guess I'm just taking a break. We had this really cool adventure saving Earth, and, and I was pretty happy. Anyway, so I needed some me time, and I came to Australia, and that's when I moved in with Daryl. Hello. And uh, here we are. You know, it's, it's, it's a nice flat, as you can see, and uh, we, we get along well. Yeah, I guess I just wanted to be around uh, average, everyday people. And Daryl is a, an average sort of everyday guy, so it works out well. While I'm here, I'm trying to get involved with the locals. And who's this purple weirdo? Vision! Surprised you actually knew who that was. You know, to give back to the community. Daryl here is helping me craft an electronic letter. I'm writing to Captain America and Iron Man. There seems to be something very intense going on between them, and I want to offer my help, my services. Dear Tony Stark, how's it going? I heard you and Captain America were having some relationship problems. Dear Steve Rogers, do you remember when I goaded you into killing those prisoners and you made me swear to never tell the other Avengers? If there's any other secrets you need kept, just let me know. Because I'm not up to much at the moment. What are you doing later? I'm just working. What's he doing? He's working. Keep out Daryl. <laughs> Costume for battles. Little Mjolnir over here taking a nap. <laughs> a little bit of something I've been roasting in the sun for a number of weeks now. And it's almost ready. Delicious. Question. What are Infinity Stones? A whole lot of information and ideas and what I like to call little clues speckled around the place. And who is the man in the purple chair? He's purple. He's a magic glove. Doesn't like standing up. Fury, what does he really know? And is Fury his real name or is it actually pronounced furry? Little Mjolnir here. <laughs> pair of sunglasses in case it gets bright on the rainbow bridge, which often it does. Oh, if you lift up this little thing, <laughs> what's he holding? Me. I never wear cutoffs. How do I keep waking up in cutoffs? Normal pants going in, cutoffs coming out. You? Hmm. <laughs> oh, by, by the way, I heard from uh, Tony Stark and Captain America. They didn't contact you? Uh, I haven't received a single phone call. So, uh, one second. Hold on. I'll, uh... Hey, T Bone. How many times do we have to go over this? No amount of money is gonna get me to join your little pissing contest. What? Here, talk to Thor. Yeah. He's sort of been waiting to hear from you. I have him right here. Oh, you can't right now? Okay. Am I disappointed that they, that they didn't invite okay. me to fight with him? Um. <laughs> no. He doesn't know how to get in touch with you. I don't. I don't have a phone. He doesn't have a phone. Send a raven. I just start my own team. Team Thor, of course. And it would be me. And Daryl. Just us. Right, D? Yep. I can't uh, pay rent with these things. One's a pumpkin, and these Asgardian coins, they're not worth anything. In Asgard, those coins, these coins are worth a gazillion human dollars, OK? There's a gazillion. You're rich. There's a gazillion. Gazillion, gazillion, gazillion. No one will exchange these. Go to the market, set up a store, yeah. and write, yeah. Asgardian Ware. Previously owned by Thor. I'm a celebrity that will sell like hotcakes. You might need to think about getting a, getting a job. <laughs> Get a job? Are you serious? Yeah. I have a job. Do you know what my job is? I save the planet. Yeah. Maybe you should get a job. I have a job. Really? No, no, my job hitting the machine with the words that come out of it. Oh, this is knowledge. Knowledge is power. No, it's not. Knowledge is not power. That's power. The brain is a muscle, and that's a muscle, and that's a muscle. And they are all muscles. This is all muscle. So I am covered in brains, and I have more brains than you. So do you think maybe we could just think I about... I think we need a servant. I don't think we can get a servant. We should get a servant. We I don't Yay! Think we it's can settled. Get a We're getting a servant! Uh, so my last housemate left uh, all of a sudden, but fortunately through my work, uh, a position came up in Los Angeles, so I needed to find a new uh, housemate. Hello. The Grand Master was the only one who answered my Craigslist ad. <laughs> Imagine that. I was the only one. Well, lucky me.
At first I thought he was just another Hollywood type person. Then I realized he was more than likely from another planet. I like learning about your culture. What do you call this? Toast. Yes. I come from Sakaar. It's a haven for lost things. That sounds kind of poetic, but it's really kind of a catch-all place. And uh, now, without boring you with the details, I had formerly, and for a rather long period of time, um, a, uh, an assistant slash bodyguard named Topaz. Uh, and uh, now, uh, you know, I'm looking for a new assistant, and you know who seems to fit the bill just perfectly, believe it or not, is Daryl.